Hi friends, this is Megan from the blog Our Handcrafted Life and today we're going to make upside down hanging tomato planters out of these galvanized tin tubs. So if you've seen the video of the herb chandelier, then you know we really like to have things in our garden and grow things that we can use in our kitchen but we don't have a ton of space in our backyard. Our backyard is pretty small, we like to call it our postage stamp backyard. Um, there's just not a lot of room for a garden because we like to do things like play coop and play with the slide and play with the house and all of these things you know that are better for our family but we still really like to grow things like vegetables and herbs so we have to come up with creative solutions. So as we're working on these hanging tomato plants we have to have some place for the vine to come out the bottom of the bucket. So we're going to use a center punch to punch a hole right in the middle so the hole saw has a place to get started and then we're going to use this hole saw. I don't know if you can see the bit there, but it's gonna like eat into the bottom of the bucket and create a nice hole. Before we use the saw, we're gonna just put some multi-purpose oil on there to lubricate the saw so that it goes down easily. I'm actually gonna have Daniel drill with the hole saw because sometimes it can get hung up on the metal and be a little tricky. Once you have the hole drilled in the bottom of your tin bucket, um, you obviously don't want all of your dirt and water falling right out of this hole, so we're going to cut a piece of burlap to fit inside the bucket. So you want your piece of burlap to be about the same size as the bottom of your bucket, but exact size doesn't really matter. Um, it can come up on the sides a little bit. You just want it to be about the same size. And then we're going to cut a slit up the middle. We're going to stick the tomato plant through, and that's how our tomato vine is going to hang out the bottom. Burlap is the perfect material because it, it has a loose enough weave that it'll still drain just fine, but the dirt and um, the tomato plant won't be able to fall through the hole. Okay, so we're going to break up the root ball and then we're going to push this in through this hole that we made in the bottom of the galvanized bucket and then we'll wrap the burlap around it. Now that the root ball is in the middle of the plant, we're going to put our burlap sack around it. After you fill the bucket up with potting soil, we're going to water the plant and then we're ready to hang it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for our DIY upside down tomato planter. If you want to see more videos about living simply and creating beautiful things, subscribe to our channel. And let us know in the comments below what else you want to see us make. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.